So in my last couple of videos on Tesla stock, we took a look at how the mass media keeps trying to push this narrative that there isn't a whole lot of demand for Tesla vehicles. And that's mostly reliant on the fact that there was a drop off in deliveries from the fourth quarter of last year into the first quarter of this year. We do know that year over year, it was still an increase of over 100%, but to them, an increase of over 100% still means that for some reason, people don't wanna buy Teslas. Well, something that I found interesting, especially in this last video, was that CNBC was saying that Wall Street expects them to deliver 93.9 thousand deliveries in the second quarter, which would be record breaking, despite the fact that there's no demand and they gave that specific number. Well, we ended up doing some fact checking and it turns out that we couldn't find any kind of Wall Street consensus that gave that specific number of 93.9 thousand. In fact, the only consensus that we could find was from the International Business Times and they gave a little bit of a range from 89.5 thousand to 92 thousand and they were still saying that most analysts think that they're not even going to hit those targets either. Well, fast forward to today, and I am happy to say that Tesla reported a record-breaking total of deliveries for the second quarter at over 95,000. So naturally, CNBC is going to now issue an apology, or at the very least, they're going to admit that there is no demand problem, right? Well, Tesla. yeah, I don't, I don't think this changes the bear thesis. I don't know how we can answer demand. I, I, I think, if anything, first of all, we had moved the bar so low in terms of those second quarter deliveries. If I if I had these numbers. Wait, what? You guys wanted to see record deliveries and they still beat it. Um, I look to me. The issue is I think demand is very much still in question. I think the the, the company is going to also tell you that they're not in a position to grow aggressively. You got to be kidding me. Companies like Volkswagen competing with the Model 3. You've got Porsche rolling out a vehicle to compete with the Model S. So I don't know that this, this increase in demand is really here to stay. Yeah, I, I, look. Okay, look, to be fair, at least in that video, they did say that one of their biggest concerns are the financials and their price margins, which I've admitted to being a big issue for Tesla myself. In fact, it's one of the reasons why I still consider Tesla to be a speculative stock. But the reality is that the media, the short sellers, and all the trolls all over social media, they've all been complaining about demand problems. And CNBC themselves gave a target of 93.9 thousand that they claimed was from Wall Street, and Tesla beat that target by a considerable amount and the stock shot up by over 7%. So at the very least, you have to admit that this was good news for the company and for the stock. It's only up 7, 8% in the, in the night market here. If it was really a game changer, you can be up 20, 30. You can have a move like that with a stock that's this heavily shorted. It's a fairly uninspiring reaction. Yeah, I mean, I give up. What's up everyone, my name is Ale and welcome back to my world of stocks. Uh, let's go ahead and put all of that nonsense aside and let's just take a look at what Tesla reported and what this means going forward. Okay, so they announced both record production and record deliveries coming in at over 87,000 vehicles produced and over 95,000 delivered. That breaks down into over 77,000 Model 3s delivered and over uh, 17,000 Model S and Model Xs, which is pretty good because those are a little bit older and the Model 3 is obviously the cheaper mass market vehicle. In any case, they also noted that they made significant progress with their global logistics and delivery operations, which by the way, that was a huge constraint on the first quarter of this year. So that's really good news that they are improving on that and they claim that it led to greater cost efficiencies, which is also going to be a big deal when they report earnings and give us all the financial information. But they also added that they generated more orders than deliveries, and that's a huge deal because the mass media is already trying to spin this like they're going to have a horrible second half of the year. In fact, in my last video, I noted that CNBC was highlighting a price cut from UBS analysts who noted that deliveries will be softer in the second half of the year, and therefore they decided to cut their price target. But given that Tesla's back order is actually stronger heading into the third quarter, I think not only will we not see weaker deliveries as UBS predicts, which 
by the way, is yet another heavy Tesla short seller, but I actually think that they'll actually see more growth in deliveries in the third quarter and the fourth quarter, so I'm expecting more record-breaking numbers at that time. Don't forget that the auto industry is again very seasonal, and the second half of the year is usually the strongest. So throwing these figures up on our chart, we can see that this is a very nice rebound here, an increase of 51% quarter over quarter, and an increase of 134% year over year. That is insane same growth no matter how the media tries to slice it. I literally feel like Mogatu from Zoolander sometimes. Like in the part where he says that he feels like he's taking crazy pills because everyone is believing all the nonsense. That's how I feel about the media. They keep trying to spin this off into there not being any demand. But anyway, we'll finish up here by looking at these quarters year over year. And this now puts each of their last four quarters at year over year growth rates of one to 200% in each of them. Now, as a result, the stock climbs by over 7% today. And this now puts them at over 35% higher than their 52 week low that they literally saw just last month. So I pity all the fools that were screaming that this stock would go to zero when it was crashing. By the way, I know a lot of you have been asking me to show my cost spaces on Tesla and I don't usually share that information but I'm pretty happy with my position right now because I was buying very heavily when it was crashing at under $200 and I know a lot of trolls and people were calling me an idiot because I was buying when the stock was going down but I always like to do the opposite of what the herd is doing so I'm happy to say that my cost basis is now at just about 190 so I'm up quite a bit on my position and I feel pretty good about it. Having said that, these were very good numbers in terms of their deliveries, but we still need to see their financials and see how these logistical changes that they've implemented are affecting their margins and uh, their profitability. So hopefully we'll see some good results. Um, that's one of the things that Tesla just continues to struggle on is just being sustainably profitable. But uh, if you guys want me to do an update video when they announce earnings, I'd be more than happy to break all of that down for you guys. And I think that'll be in about a month that they will be releasing their earnings. Anyway, I think that just about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please consider hitting the like button. It really helps offset all the trolls. Every time I make a video on Tesla, I get a bunch of uh, just negative comments and all kinds of stuff, but I'm not gonna get into all that. Anyway, uh, if you did watch the video up until this point, I will reward you guys with another uh, video clip that I think is pretty funny from CNBC. So let's go ahead and watch that now. Why Tesla shares are moving higher. Sort of interesting that the, the share price reaction up 6% when this was leaked in a leaked email, right? What, the, the, the 95,000 the number, number though, Phil, is... No, the fact that there the was num gonna the be number record, is new. record... To be fair to that guy, I think his name is Phil, and he did at least correct that lady there in the video and told her that it wasn't really guaranteed that Tesla would break those records. So I got to give credit where credit is due. I think I was a little harsh on him in my last video, so I'll give him props for that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave your thoughts down below. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.